Hey, what is up? Cha ching Hey, what is up, you fuckers? Welcome back to another Giga Reaction video. Today we will be reacting to Winter Anime 2019 in a nutshell. Giga Sama, ah, uh, praise Giga Sama in the comment section for giving us content. Okie dokie. <laughs> Winter Anime 2019 the in a nutshell. most years of anime in the past decade, 2019 has some big shoes to fill, and you know what? I don't know if that's going to be <sighs> possible. I mean, just look at these weak-ass choices. Promised Neverland? Sounds stupid. What Mod the fuck? Mod Psycho 100 Season 2? Yeah, like the first was any good. You what? know, there just doesn't seem to be anything what? worth getting excited about. <laughs> no, she's 20. She is 20. <laughs> Why does he have a trash bag around her, though? I'm ready. Why does he have a trash bag? Oh, <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? <gasps> what? I just see. So what better way to start with Kaguri oh. XX? And it's only two X's because yes. this isn't porn. <laughs> Yet. And what can I say? She's <laughs> yeah. the same gambling goodness again. I love it. <laughs> I fucking love Kakiguru so much. So much. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do you a favor and give me a bit of background behind Boogie Pop because I went to do oh this show God. completely. Blind, and what I got from episode one was pretty much. Huh? I don't know this what? anime. Right, cool. I'm sure this will make sense. What is happening? But it was only after reading up about the series and watching the next few episodes did I actually get it. Boogie Pop is kind of like a supernatural mystery show separated uh -huh. into different arcs. The thing is, we are shown events out of chronological order. The first episode, for uh -huh. example, gave me the beginning then just jumped straight to the end of the story arc. It constantly feels like you are piecing together a puzzle as you are slowly drip fed information piece by piece, which makes no sense individually. But as you get more pieces and fill in more and more of the puzzle, the overall picture becomes clearer. While this may seem like a gimmick, it is actually incredibly Rewarding as you feel like a detective yeah. piecing together a mystery, and it doesn't take too long to let something. you know what's going on. This series is based on what a light novel series before light novels were really a thing. It was a series that inspired authors <sighs> like Monogatari's Nisio Isin, so I highly recommend you check it out. Just definitely don't watch this one episode at a time. Mob Psycho yeah. 100, more like Sob Psycho 100, am I right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 Man, what the yeah, it's true. On? Yep, Mob is back as strong as ever, and my hype levels have reached 100%. Bones seem to have launched exactly where they left off with the production. I mean, just mm. look at this opening. Oh, the I opening is good, but don't play it. I got a copyright strike because of this, this shit. opening, man, it's, it's just a banger, right? It's a proper banger. And it I is. swear to God, it that's really the last is. time you'll hear me use it for a Is that a banger right here? Oh, boy, it's a fucking banger. <laughs> so this show is a 50-year-old classic manga written by the grandfather of anime himself, Osamu Tezuka, oh. telling the tale of a baby, cursed by his father to be born with no eyes, ears, skin, or limbs, who has survived and wanders the land battling demons. Or, to put the show in another way, we got Samurai Helen Keller slicing up demons with sword for arms. <laughs> Fucking sword for arms! <laughs> right, video over. Someone find Chief and tell him we found it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, we actually found him. Hey, look, it's a guy who gets transported to another oh, world. Oh, yeah. I've heard hey, a lot look, about it's this an anime. MMORPG type it. fantasy world. <laughs> hey, look, it's a cute little animal girl that's sure to get looted by the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, we all need one new isekai to be obsessed with, and this year it looks like it's going to be the rising of the Virgin Shield hero versus the Chad Spearsman. I just <laughs> admire that this is the most isekai isekai that's ever been isekai I mean, <laughs> it's so fucking isekai that its characters are no longer even surprised when they get transported to another world. Like, we know the deal, they know the deal, let's just cut the bullshit and just get straight to the isekai. <laughs> and honestly, oh, yeah, I cannot okay. stop watching the show, and I just don't 
understand why. Mm -hmm. At this point, I've just accepted the isekai trash within me. I do like how they've taken the fallen hero approach with a protagonist that's not been put up on a pedestal for once, but let's <laughs> be real, it's the same isekai fantasy shit we've seen before. I mean, I recognize you. Aren't you that guy and that guy? And I oh recognize my God, this scene, isn't it wrong. just that scene? And I recognize you, aren't you? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what? My mistake? I must have just been imagining that. Hey, look, it's another isekai. Is that, is that 18th century truckin? And this just reminds me of that other wow. isekai everyone was watching last year. What was it called again? Oh, yeah. VR chat. Now, I don't normally do this, but if you haven't seen the first episode of Promised Neverland, go watch it or just skip the spoilers by skipping to the timestamp here because this is something that you're going to want to go into. Oh, no, I have to. What the fuck? I have to skip this? Too blind. All right. Okay, guys, I have to skip it because I haven't seen it. What is this, Giga? What is this? Well, I guess 612, that's not too far. Oh my God, guys, don't skip. I have to. Don't skip. No, I'm not getting spoiled. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not getting spoiled. <laughs> Why? Oh my God. Please, for the love of all, skip. Yeah, I'm skipping. I prefer skipping than spoiling myself and people who have not seen it. Because I'm definitely watching the shit. All right. Oh, I know. What did that spell? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, 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 I, I, yeah, um, I don't, I, I'm tired, I'm lacking sleep, so, uh, let's, <laughs> let's, <laughs> okay, okay. okay. To this. Isn't this the anime adaptation of, um, lo-fi hip-hop beats to chill slash study to? See, I can really appreciate this? when an anime puts more thought into the art direction to stand out Damn, from the norm with its looks insane. and aesthetic, but I do wonder to myself sometimes, can you ever go too far with art direction? Oh god, what the fuck is this? We took this about 10 million Instagram filters too far! <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. David Thomas. I'm a practicing psychotherapist in Tampa, Florida, to talk to you today about what? how to cure chronic depression. Of course! The material <laughs> you will need would be a computer uh, to access the internet. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! Oh my god, is this a new meme format? You know, one of the meme reasons reviews. I still love anime is that even god after all it. these years, you can take a tried and tested genre and still approach it in ways I haven't seen before. Kaguya Sama is essentially if you wrote a romantic comedy based on the potato chip scene in Death Note, <laughs> where both sides are playing mind games with each other, trying to get the other to confess first, despite the fact wow. that they both like one another. That sounds Exploring awesome. Exploring one of the most important questions posed in modern philosophy. If a tsundere and a tsundere liked each other, Yikes. would they ever find out? Hey, ah! this is <laughs> I, I recognize the anime theme. Even <laughs> uh. meaning it will probably result in them holding hands in around 10 trillion years or so. But it's so extra, and I fucking love it. It's original. It's entertaining. Awesome. It's funny. And I know everyone's freaking out over Raccoon Girl this season, yep. but I think we may have accidentally discovered the solution to world peace in Chica. <laughs> And the stance, which has consumed my soul, uh, <laughs> the greatest achievement of mankind. I do like that dance. History. Okay, let's go. Right, Michael? <laughs> I'm alone. <laughs> oh man, is that short <laughs> answer to Opus 10 number one in C Oh Major? my god. Fucking adore this man, dude. What a banger. Dialogue is pretty much where the art comes in. Taking some words that someone has just said holding them in your hand and then punching them in the face with it what 
You know this isn't based on a light novel because that would definitely be the fucking title of the show. Are you ready <laughs> to go on a fucking journey with me? Because this first episode was a fucking journey. All right, so this guy, normal high school student, has uh -huh. a massive crush on his teacher. And one day he just randomly sleeps with a girl he met at karaoke. You know, standard love triangle premise. We've all uh -huh. seen it before. Uh -huh. Then uh -huh. we find out that his dad is getting remarried. And the uh -huh. person he's getting married to is the mother of his teacher and the girl he slept with. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, you think you're watching a standard romance drama show, then BAM! They hit you with one of these. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> yes, we've got a classic case of the surprise incest. But you know what? This show is just too surprise spicy. Surprise incest! It's so That's spicy, a new I'm one! I'm this using the fucking Scoville skin. Press 1 if you think surprise incest is, is the surprise wincest. Do you choose your boring, standard, not related by blood sister? Or do you go with the more mature, also not related by blood sister, who's also your teacher? And oh, no. I think. I think there's only one way we can answer this. But I'm a teacher and you're my student. It doesn't matter, that's the best part! <laughs> oh no! Why are you so okay with this? No! Hey guys, oh. hope you enjoyed that video. Just before anything else, I do want to give a quick shout out to oh. Walker as they do have God. a Holy shit! I'm dramatized! <laughs> this is my outro. Click on this video or on this video or something. Get out of here. Go.